in actual fact, the world is changing, but the uh, energy developments show little signs, only little signs, of moving onto a more sustainable path. We are still on the same energy demand growth trend that we had seen before the uh, global financial crisis. Most of the increase will be in the form of fossil fuels and uh, uh, most of these uh, fossil fuels quantities will, uh, uh, for 97% of them, will move to China, India, uh, the Middle East uh, and other emerging economies. So again, if you look at the uh, total amount of uh, fossil energy to compare to the uh, global uh, energy demand, in 20 years down the track, the uh, ratio will still be something like 80%, very much like today. From the start, the European Union had always made it crystal clear that they wanted to be a good citizen of the world and that they wanted to uh, steer, the, steer a course towards a low-carbon economy, thereby creating value as a result of going green. Under the Energy Roadmap 2050, the EU has set out a course of action including uh, five decarbonisation decarboniza uh, scenario, of which one is fundamentally dedicated to energy efficiency, boosting energy efficiency, thereby achieving a 40% energy demand reduction by 2050. This is a major objective. We're not talking about just uh, political marketing, as Europe is clearly turning its back to the rest of the world. This is a very perceptive question. We have seen the oil and gas boom in the US over the past six or seven years. And we've seen the extent to which uh, the large availability of uh, low cost uh, shale gas, shale oil, including tight oil in the US, have, re have sent the energy prices to very low levels, certainly as far as uh, gas is, is concerned. We've also seen how low energy prices in the US have helped the US out of recession, have helped the US restore their competitiveness and uh, uh, create job and attract investment. We see the European Union trying hard to champion uh, green policies, uh, carbon abatement policies and what we have referred to a minute ago as uh, the energy transition. We have seen energy prices being stuck at fairly high levels. Definitely gas uh, was no longer competitive. In a bid to, uh, <coughs> to, to increase competitiveness of their ailing economies, uh, Europe and definitely European utilities European power and gas producers have had to eventually use low-cost coal exports from the US, therefore using competitive coal instead of using clean, non-competitive gas. So, whilst the EU wants to go green, they're actually going black. <laughs>